What is the universe? What do satellites do for us? Who has never wondered how life would be without gravity? The answer to all these questions lies in the Netherlands, close to Estec in Nordweg, Space Expo, the visitor center of the European Space Agency, ESA, is Europe's first permanent space exhibition. Since it opened in 1990, more than one million visitors, from school children to businessmen, ministers, the Dutch Queen, and other celebrities, have experienced the magic of space exploration from the comfort of the Earth. Dressed as real astronauts, the youngest visitors are ready to start a memorable journey. As Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin did back in 1969, they set foot on the moon, next to a full-scale model of the eagle. Because of its weaker gravitational force, they discover with surprise that on the moon, we are six times lighter than on Earth. Take it to Pluto, and we wouldn't be heavier than a cat on Earth. The mysteries of the universe and the deepest secrets of our closest neighbors are revealed in pictures taken by space explorers, such as the Hubble Space Telescope and Mars Express. Visitors to ESA's Expo get the rare chance to see themselves through an infrared camera, similar to the one scientists use to distinguish between warm spots in the Milky Way and regions with cooler dust. And what's more, they get to experience the extreme difference in temperature that satellites face when one side is being lit by the sun, raising it above 100 degrees Celsius, while the opposite side, in shadow, plummets to minus the same value. An environmental challenge that ESA space engineers must certainly take into account when designing and testing our spacecraft. Another challenge today for ESA and its international partners is to finish the construction of the International Space Station. Circling some 400 kilometers above our heads, this massive structure is now home to an international team of astronauts. In a full-size model of the European Space Laboratory Columbus and the Russian module Zvezda, visitors learn how astronauts live, work, eat, store their supplies, sleep, or address some private needs. <laughs> but as Carla van der Maden knows by experience, one of the star attractions and not only for the smallest visitors, is the launch of an Ariane rocket from ESA's spaceport in Kourou, French Guiana. An uh, simulation of a launchment. Uh, it's not that noise during an original launchment. We are very visitor friendly. Mm -hmm. But they just get an impression how it goes. Even if it's not quite the same, the youngest visitors can always practice outside with water rockets. Go! And the most courageous ones can even hop on the multi-axis simulator used for training astronauts before they go into space. Revolving in this machine creates the same feeling of disorientation that astronauts can experience during their time in space. A feeling that we can only experience at ESA Expo. For first-time visitors, whatever the age or background, it's an experience difficult to forget. Oh, it was wonderful. It was wonderful. I, I like the most uh, the, the, the launching of the rocket, where all the, uh, the gases uh, came and the children were coughing. Uh, no, it was really uh, uh, nice. It was uh, real. Yeah. I like the space shuttle. <laughs> Today I saw uh, something about the Milky Way, uh, about satellites, about the work of ESTEC and European Space Agency, about uh, our international space station everything related to that. A lot to learn in a day, and a lot to dream about for everyone.